Hey guys, this video I'm going to be going over the motor and battery and then test running it for the first time. So right here is everything in the box of the motor itself. Uh, I didn't get a chance to record myself unboxing it, but this was everything that came in the box itself. Forgot to mention that I bought this motor kit for 105 on Amazon. It was 125 and then there was a $20 coupon. So here is the throttle. So you can see there's the battery indicator and then there's the keys over here and then just two cables that go straight into this motor controller and this just twists over here and then this is just a handlebar. Here's the motor itself. You can see it's actually really heavy and it comes with a gear on it. This is pretty hard to spin on its own and then in the back here you can see there's some cables, the blue, yellow, and green and then just another plug-in socket thing for hall sensors. So, and then there's just the bracket at the bottom, and then here's the back side. So, according to this tag, you can see it's 48 volt, 4300 RPM, 2000 watts. So, that was the motor that came, and hopefully it works. And then over here is just some tools and you can see there's another gear in there if I want to swap this one out and then there's the wrench. So that's just to assemble probably this. I don't know if I'll use that. Here's the controller itself. So there's just a bunch of cables on the end of this. Um, these three go into the motor itself. These two are for power and then there's just a bunch and bunch of them just for controlling different features uh they're all labeled except for this one but that just goes straight into the motor so for example there's uh like the brakes there's electronic lock there's the throttle charge port the three speed controller sorry and then just the reverse There's the brake light down there. Yep, so there's just a bunch of features, but the main ones are just the, the power and the battery, the, the thicker wires in there. And then lastly, there's just this three-speed controller over here. So that'll just be able to control the speeds. All the parts other than like the controller and the motor itself are pretty cheap. I don't know if I'll end up using them, but it looks like everything came. And over here, you can see the label of the controller. 48 volts, 34 amps, 2000 watts. So 2000 watts, 2000 watts, at least that matches up. And hopefully I don't get scammed by the company itself and hopefully that everything, hopefully everything works. Okay, the battery just delivered from eBay. I got this for $160 and there was like another $20 on shipping. So it's a pretty good steal for a 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. The only information that came with it was that apparently it output voltages was a little higher, but that should be fine as long as the motor controller works. Right at the top of the package, there's this piece of paper that just talked about the T-line connector that um, just discharges into the motor controller. And then right under that is the charging cable and box. So I went ahead and plugged that into the outlet I had next to me. And as soon as I plugged it in, the, the light turned on as green. You can see when I put it down in a second. So that meant it was working, and it was green because the battery itself wasn't plugged in. And up next, as I pick up the battery itself, it was pretty heavy. And this shows all the information about it, if you want to pause the video. Then these were just warnings and recommendations. And then the last thing in the box was just the T-line connector itself, and that would just plug right in. So I wanted to charge the battery before testing, but it turned out that um, the battery itself was full, according to the connector, which showed green. Uh, I also bought an uh, amp clamp and multimeter so I can see I can test the battery and make sure everything else is working. So I'll just put this to the side. Oh, um, I have the motor clamped down just in case if, if uh, it starts shaking or anything. Um, according to this sheet, uh, these, these have to be connected before I connect it to the e-bike and then I was planning to just zip tie these ring connectors on this 
motor controller um, straight to the battery and the motor. And then I was going to just use some electrical tape to hold it together. So we'll see how that goes. So as you can see, it's outputting about 54 volts, higher than the 48 volts, but should be okay as long as this motor controller is able to tone it down. At least it's putting out voltage. It's working. Okay, I gotta strip these down. Stripping these wires took like way longer than they should have, but that was mostly because I was just using the same pair of pliers instead of an actual wire stripper. All right, both wires have been stripped. As you can see there. The second one actually went a lot faster. My clamps don't come off. Okay. Yeah, remember that part about the clamps coming off. So these three are going to go into the motor controller, which is right here. It's obviously color coded, so these green, blue, and yellow will match up there. I'm just going to zip tie them and then just put some tape around to make sure they don't touch each other. It's probably not a permanent solution, but I'm too lazy to solder them or crimp them right now. And then this plugs into the unlabeled one on this because the wires also match up and they're both six pin. Okay. And this one, these ones go into the battery and these three go into the motor. three all linked up make sure these line up so this controller is all wired up to the motor and then let me get the throttle on here this wire is actually pretty long all right it's unlabeled on this but pretty sure the throttle is over here yeah, so you can see the red, black, and green, and that that goes with this red, black, and gray. You can see those those line up here. The gray probably goes with the green. Not all the colors are the same. Let me push that through, and then this yellow and white. It's probably for the. I want to say electronic lock. I might even just keep this unplugged for now. I don't want to risk anything. Yeah, as long as the throttle works, that's all that I'm testing right now. So there's no point of plugging it in. If the throttle works, we'll see about testing that. Okay, then we just do the three speed. See if these wires match up. Blue, black, yellow, not even close, but at least the black lines up. Let's hope the other two work. I'll just leave it on speed one for now. All right, all that's left is the battery. So to make sure I don't touch these accidentally, it's obviously fine if it's not plugged in. I'll probably just put this on first and then plug this in. These ones, no zip tie, but I'll probably just wrap it around. Let's go. Ready? This happened because the battery hasn't been used yet or in a really long time and shouldn't be too much of an issue. electronic lock. Let me see if I can connect that. Let's see if this works. Right. Oh. Oh. 
We got it. Let's see. Not bad. All right, that's on speed one. And you can see we're on full charge on battery. All right, let's go speed two. Hopefully this works. Oh. And speed three. For me, it feels like The two on the speed controller is the strongest one. It's weird, but at least it works. Might have to ditch this one. This might be faulty, but of all things to be faulty, that's fine. There's no heat on this. This is showing some amperage running through. Luckily, everything turned out fine. The wires caught the motors and it didn't even hit the ground, so the motor itself wasn't damaged. Wow, okay. Well, looks like everything here works for the most part. Even the speed controller, that should be fine. All right, I wanna do a close up on the motor itself while this is running. Here, let me just key this up. on and I think the keys have to be there you can see the lights are on and then so as this motor is just spinning in the background I just wanted to say that I'll be leaving links to both the motor and the battery that I purchased down in the description. Feel free to ask any questions or leave any comments or suggestions about uh, video taking down in the comment section. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.